There we go. And I think that's the first decent slab of the day. What's up, y'all? It's the Cajun Fisherman here, baby. It's time to go get us some lake or some crappie. Or white perch, whatever region you live in. Y'all might call them different things, but regardless, we're trying to go look for some pigs. Stay tuned, hit that like, subscribe button, hit that notification bell at the bottom so you can be notified every time I post. Let's get it. to show y'all we're fishing i'd say probably between 20 to 30 feet of water right now they're that deep they're following school of shad and i think if we can put on some shad color baits and get down there we can get them to bite so stay tuned we're gonna get on them let's get on some fish i'm gonna slow roll it down here until i find some crappie that was pretty easy all right so i got some sitting around 45 feet I'm gonna cast at them, but I wanna show y'all real quick what I'm using. So my buddy, he ties some of these nice jigs. I haven't started tying my own, but always like two jigs or two baits for when I drop down for live scope, but it's always nice to present something different to them. So they're eating shad right now. I got a pink head and I think a slab magnet. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And then I've got this Cajun colored jig. So that should do just fine. These crappie. Looks like there's some big ones sitting on the bottom right here. Ah, the crappie are sitting pretty tight. Right here. It should be a good day. Nice school, a decent sized crappie down there right now. Yeah, I think a small one's just coming. Come on, that's you, man. No, he's coming. There you go. Uh, I think he's small. Yeah, that was a small one. Alright. Next brush bow. <laughs> I'm not about to sit on this. I don't want these guys. There we go. Got a nice school of crappie. Hugging tight to this tree. Tried to smoke it, he missed it. Something should come smoke it in a second. There we go. And I think that's the first decent slab of the day. Yep, that's a slab. Hey, Lake Monroe crappie. God dang it. <laughs> I said the name. Look, it is what it is, man. Y'all know where we're fishing now, but we're still catching crappie, baby. Well, let's get back on these slabs. Let's see if we can get a little bit bigger, though. I want a two pounder. Likelihood of it happening, I don't know. 25%, but it's still a percentage. Nah, in all seriousness though, these fish are hugging on these trees right now. And look, I'm fishing 22 feet of water right now. Presenting two different baits in a school about, I don't know, I'd say about 17 fish. And only a couple of them react to it, but just keep throwing it over the top of their heads and eventually you'll find something that they like. See if I can get him to bite this. Let's 
So you can see my bait dropping down right over him. Let's see if I can get him to bite. Let's see, right over the top. Oh, he's coming, come on. I think the small one's coming. There he goes. Another one. Come on, man. These slabs, baby. Let's go on some more. Try not to make too much noise with this trolling motor. Got him at 15 feet from the boat. At least it says that's 15 feet. Doesn't look like 15 feet to me. All right, right over the top of him. Got one checking it out, it's coming. You know, I've noticed a lot of these fish will fake swipe at it. I'm gonna drop it down and then pull back up slowly. I've noticed that seems to catch a lot of them. There we go. It's a decent sized fish. It's probably a nine inch crappie, but that's not what we're after today. So you, you're lucky, you get to go back. Let's see if y'all can see this. There goes my two baits. I'm not gonna drop it too low. I want him to come up and see it. He's coming. Oh, that's a big one. Come on, man. The smaller one's coming. Ah, he nipped at it. Drop back down on him. fine maybe the correct ones hadn't seen it yet raise it up above them normally I can get them to come and smack it if they see it leaving there we go oh wow look at that <laughs> double Let's see we got a slab on one of them though <laughs> Little guy, we're not after you. But you, you'll eat. Ah, oh, he's decent. Well, that was cool. But let's get back on him. And that fast, that school of crappie has left and went somewhere else. Oh, I got some more over here.
There we go. I think he's small though. See if I can change this angle and probably get on some. They're hiding behind the back side of the tree. I say hiding. They're living down there, chilling behind the back side of the tree. If I can get the bait back there without disturbing, I think we can get some fish off of it. I've got one coming at it now. But nothing that's committed completely yet. one coming from the bottom fast. It's full of shad too, I think. So I'm going to try two one eighth, one with the darker colored jig head and one with the lighter color. Let's see if we can get some fish to bite that. We got one coming now. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. <sighs> Woo. Now that's what I'm after. We're putting him on the scale. Let's see. Let's get him on the scale. One pound, six ounces. He ain't hitting two. We're getting closer. Not bad. One pound, six ounces. Let's see how much bigger we can get. We got some studs sitting down here now. That one might be decent. Yep. And we get on these slabs today. Probably right at 10 inches. All right, so I'm about to pull out the old Tony Bowman. So that's a nickname my father has, but he loves these things and I have these big crappie that don't want to commit so I'm gonna try to put some of these little crappie bites on here and see if I can get them to commit they're down there and they're not running away swimming away so let me see if I can get on them I gotta try something different and if that doesn't work I'm gonna switch the spoons but I'm gonna try this first there we go don't want to smash that in the boat sucks on carpet so put those on the tip of the hook and we're gonna drop it back down and see if we can get them to commit now gotta get back up there on them Smaller ones are gonna keep getting it. Oh, that's a bigger one. 
Yep. Slab. Yeah, he'll keep. He'll keep. Not too bad. I want to show y'all these new electronics I got. Not new. I've always had these hummingbirds, but I had one back here and one up front. I put them both back here. It'll be easier with side imaging and stuff like that. It'll be nice to mark off some spots and just have extra additional uh, mapping up front. But then came over here, upgraded Bass Pro Shop deals, two Garmin's. I think they're running what they were halfway off. It was a deal. You should have got them. If you didn't, I'm sorry. But they're good. It's worth the upgrade. What I have noticed is, though, when you're fishing and you're trying to locate these fish, having that bigger screen, man, it's a game changer. All right, y'all. I got to call it. I'm going to run my battery dead if I don't chill out. I didn't uh, charge my stuff last night. I didn't think I was coming fishing today. But the weather had different, you know, different plans for me. It wasn't looking so bad. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll get out here and only charge the boat for about an hour. And I ain't trying to be stranded on the lake. So... I appreciate y'all coming and watching the video, but it's time for me to go. 